Hey, it's Mama L. What's up, my fishes? We're gonna hi. We're gonna do a little video about how to apply press-ons with sticky tabs. Um, again, I'm new, so I'd already started and then realized I wasn't videoing. So we've got two on, and we're gonna continue on with the rest. Um, so I in the beginning. I'm old school and the sticky tabs back in the day were not very good so I reached out to someone um when I first started watching Brightitude Nails she was showing a video on how she had these sticky tab nails and that they were really great so I reached out to her and I said so do you care if I ask what you use and she's like well of course no problem um and they are called all starry a L L S T A R R Y. I will try to figure out how to put that in the links off of Amazon. And all I can say is they came a long way. Um, now I put them on one at a time. This is how she told me to do it and hold them for 30 seconds. Um, and then when we're all done, I'm going to take the hair dryer and heat them up a little bit and then let them cool back down. Now I don't wash my hand my dishes by hand I, I use a dishwasher um, and if I do anything with water I put on um, gloves so or try to now I'm not saying I'm super easy on my hands I'm still kind of rough and I can have them last um, right at six to seven days without having to um, you know having any pop off now I may have some get a little loose and they feel a little weird so then I will put some super glue underneath there but um, our nail glue um, so but for the people and i used to work at a hospital and i know a lot of people are like well i can't have nails but these are perfect and i mean perfect for the weekend so you can't wear nails all the time so you come home friday after work you get your shower you get ready to go out you put your nails on and they will stay the weekend um unless you're just really doing a lot of you know well hell i've even worked in the garden with my nails on um, not necessarily these um, stick-on tabs, but, um, you know, they will last the weekend. Here's the bit. Now, it's real funny because I'm doing this, and my daughter's, like, looking at me, and I'm like, no, we're going to pretend. I want to tell them we're pretending. It's not hooked up. So, you know, you heat them up um, so they stick a little bit better. They do last a little longer, and then I like to go back through and push them all on again. Um now we're going to start the other hand now because in the beginning my video crapped out on me and i'm sure it was operator error i missed the part where i buffed my nails so you'll take a, a little buffer or a uh, emery board and you just want to rough up the top of your nails now you do this even with uh, super glue so you'll rough you want a, a rough on rough will stick better than slick on slick. So these tips I'd already, I think these are the kinds that already have the, the ins, inside of the nail roughed up a little bit. But when you're putting them on yourself, you buff your nail and then rough up the inside of the nail if it's not already roughed up. Um, emery board, buffing pad. Um, and then you'll take alcohol and clean off your nail bed let it dry really well and then you can start this application as we can see I'm way out of screen you can barely see it but um, so when you put these on you'll need a good pair of tweezers and of course the video didn't crap out on my dominant hand um, as you can see with the tweezers flipping way out totally dropped them trying to grab a hold of these with my non-dominant hand is like uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say it was fun but it's probably entertaining so I was going to try to edit this and I thought, no, it, you know, I'm just going to show where I struggle too because, you know, everybody makes the videos look nice and neat and you're like, well, I suck at this. No, you don't. It's not, you know, it's practice just like my, my, my grandma used to say, make a biscuit. Oh, I wish I could make biscuits the way you do, grandma. She goes, well, you make them for 25, 30 years and they'll be as good as mine are. So, you know, anything that you do more often more often you're gonna get good at that includes putting this you know these nails on and I mean this this little nail was struggle busting I was like it's a good thing I'm gonna do a voiceover cuz uh, 
I had a few choice words to say. So they have like three sections to this little sticky, the, to the um, plastic piece on, that goes on top of the sticky. And sometimes one or two will rip off and then I'm struggling with the one piece here. But I will say, you know, if you can't get this, the plastic off, you know, your nail's not going to come off. So at any rate, um, maybe we got it. No, no, we don't. I'm still struggling. But, um, yeah, it's like making biscuits. You just got to take your time and get better at it. But, um, I just wanted to go over this. I was, you know, asking everybody what I should do for content. And the first thing my sister said was, well, you need to do a video on how to apply press on nails because they've come so long since back in the day when we were wearing them or even now, you know, if you get a cheap set, Oh, hallelujah. We got the tab, the sticky, the plastic off the sticky tab. So now that you get it on, you'll want to put it on the back of your nail, um, kind of like back toward the end and then push kind of not push it hard, but push it into your cuticle and then really push it down so that, you know, you don't have any pockets. Um, and then just, I do each, each one individually because, um, well, that's how, uh, Bratitude Nails instructed in her video. And I just find it easier because, you know, you saw how much I struggled with that pinky. I, I, you know, it's just, I'm a one at a person, one at a time kind of person. So like, if you were doing this with, um, glue, it's the same concept. You would put glue on your nail and I like the brush on glue. Um, I know kiss has a brand. There's all kinds of them out there, but I do like the brush better than the ones with just the tips. You kind of put it on the back, push it back. Well, it was wanting to stick too good. Push down and then hold for 30 seconds or so. I don't know if I went the whole 30, but I like push it on both sides, push it down. But I like the brush on glue if you're going to use super glue and you put a little on your, you know, like brush your finger and then brush the inside of your nail. And then again, just the 45 degree angle with the super glue. The key is, is putting it down and really holding it down because you don't want any air pockets or anything in there because, um, you know, if you get it wet or there's a pocket and you hit it the wrong way, it'll come off a lot easier. And I will say, you know, don't put your nails on, then go do dish dishes or, you know, go pick up all the kids toys. Um, Try to pick a time where you can put them on, let them dry down real good. I mean, you know, it's not like you got to wait there for, you know, 15 minutes. Five minutes is enough. I just try to give myself it some time and not do anything too strenuous. Um, the sticky, the, the sticky, the little plastic pieces, I'm telling you, are giving me the fits. I'm like, I never have this kind of trouble whenever I'm doing them. But of course, I want a video, so um, it's going to give me all kinds of hell and I almost put the wrong nail on I'm like Lord Jesus so again just put it on toward the back press down hard um yeah it's pretty self-explanatory but I just wanted to do a video so everybody can see it's not like it's um you know super hard um now, I've not tried out any other brands of the sticky tabs. Like I said, this All Story brand is the only one that I know of. So if you know of a different brand that's pretty good for you, drop it in the comments. That way we can all try different things. These, I think I get like, I think it's 30 tabs, like 30 sections, 30. Well, maybe it's, yeah, it's 15 sheets with two on each one. So that's 30. And I think it's under $7. And, I mean, to me, it's well worth the money. Um, because, like, these nails are, the way that I make them, they're not flimsy. I mean, and as long as you don't lose a nail, I will pop these off after the weekend, put them back on my card, and wear them two or three other times. I mean, you can keep wearing them as long as you don't lose any. I mean, you know, they're... It's a one-time purchase that you can wear multiple times, and they're not, they're not like the cheap, I hate to say cheap, because, you know, nothing's cheap anymore, but the disposable ones. I mean, I, when I make these press-ons, I make sure that I, you know, I don't base coat everything, but I top coat everything, 
and um, they're pretty sturdy by the time I get done. Okay, we're getting to the last one, so hopefully not much longer, but it's a pretty simple process. It's not like it's hard um, unless you can't do anything with your non-dominant hand like me. <laughs> Here we go. Finally got it on there. Um, but, it, you know, you can always have a friend help you. That's, you know, the old photo friend. But, or if, you know, if if you have kids or something, it makes them feel like they're helping you out if they can get a hold of that little tab. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a struggle bus here. But once you get a hold of it, but the you need a good pair of tweezers. And even if, you know, let's face it, I'm struggling here. But um, I just want to take these last few minutes again to thank everyone in the community. Um, I'm telling you, it's really unreal how welcoming everybody has been. And, you know, if anybody has any problems or questions or I don't know how to do this or, oh, I had a little bit of extra room at the end of my thumb where it was kind of blank space because my thumb was a little bit thicker. So there was an extra one on there for the pinky that was, you know, that give you two sizes of the pinky ones. And I always choose the bigger ones because I got, you know, man hands. Um, so I thought, well, let me try putting that on the end there, which in theory was a good idea. But then it was hard to get that sticker off. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like. If you make a video, it's, you know, struggle bus. So you can do that too if you think you've got a little bit that's not covered. Or, you know, you could put your tabs on. And then if they do come loose or you don't like the way they're feeling, you can always take a little bit of glue and put down. That's what I do when I'm wearing them for like, because I mean, the last set I wore for almost two weeks. And about after the first week, they got a little loose. And then I would just take my, my super glue brush. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I've got the belches. And um, then I'll just put that where it's loose at. And it'll, you know, it, it helps them last. And it's getting accustomed to wearing them. So we put it down at the back at an angle and then press down. Okay. I think we're getting toward the end here. And um, just give it a good press. <sighs> All the way around. Oh my. And then I think I'm going to get out my hair dryer here in just a minute and a fake blow dry it because, you know, I, I didn't really hook it up. I'm not going to even lie to you folks. Yeah, we're just pretend, 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 but get it pretty. You know, it's you think, oh, it's putting it on there a lot. No, um, I try to do that with a hair dryer and I'm like, dang, that is burning my nail beds. So when they're all warm, just give it another press down. And like I said, it's kind of like whenever it dries look at that i'm telling you bang them on the table they really are i i'm just i can't get over it so bye my fishes i hope that you've enjoyed the video and that i'll see you next time bye